The COVID-19 virus that affected the world in over a year has continued to mutate, creating new variants. Scientists tell us that COVID-19 has many variants. In 2020, we experienced what they called a beta and alpha variant. In addition, we now have a delta variant. Now, this variant was first detected in India at the end of March this year and is now found in um, 85 countries in the world. The evidence we have, according to uh, scientists, is that the Delta variant is rapidly displacing, uh, displacing the Beta variant, which has been uh, dominant in South Africa till now. Well, joining us to talk more about this uh, is Mrs. Eberia Herbertson. She's a consultant, social and administrative pharmacist, representing the Nigerian Association of Hospital and Administrative Pharmacists. Welcome to our studio in Lagos. Thank you, really, Saint. All right. First, are you concerned about the rapid spread of this COVID-19 variant? Yes. I think everybody should be concerned because, you know, the, the actually we are afraid of new variants because these new variants may be more virulent. In other words, they could cause worse illness. They could be more transmissible. You know, for instance, the Delta um, variant is 40 to 60 percent more transmissible than the alpha variant. Then in terms of vaccine effectiveness, the um, available vaccines are less effective against the delta variant. And that is the more reason why we should all be careful, use all the preventive measures, get vaccinated, and ensure that we break the transmission so that we don't have more variants coming up. Before we come to you know, vac all of this affecting vaccine hesitancy, the uniqueness of the variants coming up, I mean, we hear about the gamma that's you know, first found in Brazil. We hear about the alpha you know, from the UK. Does the environment affect um, the kind of virus or do we see this variants mutating and moving from persons to persons? Okay, may, maybe I should start from the foundation. Why do we have variants? The process of replication of a virus without any intervention is full of mistakes. So um, the virus itself is a chain of proteins, so to say, a code of proteins. So each time it replicates or in layman term reproduces itself, there is a mistake in the genetic makeup. These mistakes could either weaken the virus or make the virus more harmful. So now we've seen that the COSAS, um, the COVID-19 virus replicates very rapidly. And um, the WHO has said, okay, let's use the Greek letters to name variants. And that's why you have the alpha, beta, delta, gamma, theta, and so on. Now, the U.S. has this interagency that has also classified the variants into three categories. You know, they have the variants of interest, the variants of concern, and the variants of high consequence. Luckily for the world, right now, there is no variant of high consequence. Now, the variants of interest are like um, the ETA variant that was discovered in Nigeria 2020, and I think it was also in the UK. You know, there is some modification in the genetic makeup, and it is um, thought that that could change its transmissibility, but it's not been proven. Now we have the beta that was seen in South Africa. Okay, before beta alpha in UK, it, 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 which is 50% more transmissible than the original COVID-19 um, virus. And it has a minimal resistance to available um, monoclonal antibody treatments. Then coming to the beta, beta is also 50% more transmissible than the original COVID-19 but it has significant um, resistance to available antibody treatments. Now, the delta, like I said earlier, is 40 to 60% more transmissible than the alpha. Then it has all the negative effects. You know, it's more lethal to the 
um, lung cells. So once somebody infected with the Delta variant will become more ill than someone that was um, infected by the original variant or the Alpha or, the beta. or Beta. And we've seen that available vaccines are also less effective than this Delta variant. And you've heard of the Delta Plus, the original Delta that has another mutation that is similar to the Beta variant. So this thing is getting worse. So we all have to do our best. And, and the vaccines are not necessarily helping, are they? The vaccines are helping. The, you, you know, we, we went around this because you talked of environment. If you notice, the societies where these variants are coming up are the less vaccinated societies. India, South Africa, U.S., you know, is highly, yes, they have bits of these variants, but not as much as what we see in the less vaccinated countries. So, yes, vaccines will help. All the other medical measures will also help. And maybe we need to start thinking of booster vaccines, yes, stronger vaccines. I think so, To too. mitigate this. Yeah. We appreciate your time always on, on the program. Thank, Thank you so much, you. Mr. Sibiri Herbertson, consultant, social and administrative pharmacist. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you, Millicent. I'm always happy to be here. We have more on the COVID-19 with the global update. Stay with us.